I think this is our final Corsair box. I, th I know, you know what? No, spoke too soon. Spoke too soon. We have one more gigantic box from Corsair back there, which we will open up at the end. Oh, this is interesting. This is kind of new from Corsair. I've never seen this before. What do you have inside here that's so nicely packaged? Oh. I could have sworn I opened this up like the very first box, but this is in a nicer packaging though. <gasps> that's why it's in a nicer box. Oh my God. Wait a minute. Why is the box black though? Guys, I, I, I literally unboxed this in the beginning, unless I'm losing my mind. So we got the platinum RGBs, but uh, DDR5. But look what's inside the box here. What is that? Is that a functioning memory stick? But it's in white. Oh no, it's a freaking cutting board. Bro! Oh man. I got almost excited. I thought this was the right sticks. This would have been the perfect memory stick for Big Red version 4, you guys. Uh, and we would have knocked another item from the, uh, from the wish list. But it's stuck inside of a cutting board. Oh, cutting edge performance. Okay. All right, I get it. I get it. Corsair, that's clever marketing. I got, imagine cutting tomatoes on this thing. <sighs> sad times, sad times. You know what? I'm going to open this up just in case. Even though it's a black box and a black cover. What if there's the white one inside here? I know, I know it's the black ones. It is, but you know what? I am happy. I am happy nonetheless. Uh, yep, so yeah, 16 gigabytes per module. So 32 gigs total running at 5,200 megahertz. Holy but Jesus. These will definitely be put to good use. So yeah, thank you again, Corsa, for sending this in. I'm gonna present the cutting board to my wife and um, see what she thinks about it. Oh man, I just I just wish it was swapped, you know, like the white ones would be in here and the black one would be here. Anyways, it is, it is what it is. It is what it is. Thank you so much, Corsair, for sending this over. You guys are awesome. All right, another Asus box. This is the last Asus box I have here at the office and it's in black. They never send me a black box unless it's like very special components inside here or something. So I am very interested and excited to see what's inside here. Whoa, 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 what is that? What do we got here? Republic of Gamers. Ooh, this is an interesting box. Take a look at this, you guys. The new Intel Core. Oh, it's another Z690 motherboard. I'm pretty sure they sent me like all the boards in their lineup. What else they could possibly send me? Bruh. Well, that was a failed unboxing attempt. Damn, this is a massive box though. There's gotta be at least one board in here for sure. Oh, it's not a board, it's a freaking cooler. What? We got the Ryujin 2 360. This is their second version, I'm assuming. Oh yeah, it is. It's got support for the new LGA 1700 socket. So the new Alder Lake CPUs, of course. Um, and it's got an updated LCD screen. Holy crap. Okay, let's put this aside. I think there's something else underneath here. I don't want to screw this up. Hold up one second, guys. Maybe upside down. Oh yeah, it is. Whew. I'm glad I checked that out. ROG for those who dare. Oh, this is a different board. This is the ROG Maxima Z690 Hero. It looked very similar to the one I opened up earlier, but that one was the, uh, the Maximus. But wait, there's more. Take a look inside. Can this be? Ladies and gentlemen, can this be another item from my wish list?
Okay, we got two sticks from a data. DDR5, 4800 megahertz, okay. And then this thing. What is this? Guys, there's a CPU in here. There's a CPU, where's my knife? There's a freaking CPU in here. Please don't say Intel Confidential on here. It's Intel Confidential. How do I know what CPU this is? I want to assume it's a 12900K, you guys, but I have no idea. Oh my God. I have no idea what this is. And there's no like notes or anything. Hold up. Hold up, okay, there's a, there's a little box here. Hey Texas, thank you for receiving the awesome Asus Z690 motherboard. Please have an awesome review, Asus and marketing. Oh, what? How can I review it? If I don't know what CPU it is. I don't know if you guys have seen the benchmarks, but damn, the new 12900K from Intel has been kicking AMD's ass. They are finally back into um, competing with them. And I told you guys in the, uh, in the case unboxing video that I'm purposely holding off building Big Red version four until I can see what Intel does with their new Alderac CPUs. And well, I'm impressed overall performance. Gaming wise, they're, you know, they're pretty good, but in terms of productivity, they did kick AMD's ass pretty bad, so. Yeah, I am definitely going with um, with Intel for my system. So let's go and open up the uh, the ROG Maximus real quick. So, ooh, very similar, similar-ish design compared to the Maximus. We got an all black stealthy build, got a mirrored IO cover over here as well. It's a, it's a nice looking board, I'm not gonna lie. So. Yeah, this will definitely be going inside the uh, the motherboard lineup or overview video. Thank you so much, Asus, for sending this over and the CPU. You guys are awesome. Ah, oh, we got another big box from MSI. This is the very first big box I've ever gotten from MSI. Oh man, that was heavy. Oh, we got a nice little uh, launch package here. Looks like Intel Kingston MSI are ready to delight you with perfect media kit. Grand present the best performance combination with the 12th generation Intel Core i9 processors. Baby, baby, baby. Is there a CPU in here? Is there another CPU in here? Woo oh my God. That is a media kit if I've ever seen one. Oh my God, it's heavy as hell. Hold up. Look at this. Look at this, you guys. It's a freaking briefcase. It's an aluminum briefcase. Oh my God, yo, let's go. Oh my God. These things are getting heavier. Ladies and gentlemen, the Meg lineup from MSI, the world record breaker. Let's take a closer look at over here. Oh my lord, you can't even see that. Look at all of these goodies. If this is a confirmed 12900K, then I can sleep very nicely tonight. So for memory sticks, we got Kingston Fury, Fury, not Furry. 32 gigabyte kit running at, doesn't even say, why? It's over 5,000 megahertz for sure. And then we've got the Intel box. Let me put this aside real quick. This is it, you guys. i9-12900K, let's go, let's go, let's go. Even though I'm pretty confident the other one was also a 12900K, this one at least I can see right on the CPU, so there's peace of mind there. Oh my God. Yes, there it is. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. The CPU that's going inside a Big Red version four. Let's get it. Let us get it. Okay, now we can officially cross it off uh, the list. So let's put this back in here. We do have a motherboard that they sent over as well. The Meg Z590 Unify. We have something underneath here. Oh, there is, holy crap. We've got an AIO. Oh man, 
the Core Liquid S360, which is compatible with the new LGA 1700 socket. And look guys, we have an LCD display on the actual pump unit. Everyone, I feel like everyone is transitioning over to the, uh, the LCD screen. NZXT was the first to do it, and now everyone else is following them. Granted, they're not as overpriced as the NZXT, NZXT ones, but... And here we got liquid, liquid cooling accessories. Not sure what those are, but maybe I'll figure it out later. Thank you guys so much at MSI for sending these over. I cannot wait to play with these new toys. Of course, you don't need me to tell you guys, but uh, you can expect some really nice PC builds coming up on the channel. So we got five more boxes to go, guys. The biggest boxes right now here at the office. This is the next biggest one in terms of height. Oh, yo, we got the new Spectrum monitor from EVE. This monitor, I am not even kidding you guys, has been hyped so much on social media. I would see an ad for this monitor at least once a day, scrolling through my Instagram. I am not even kidding. They're claiming that this is the best spec gaming monitor. It's got all the bells and whistles you can expect from a gaming monitor, so why not unbox this and check it out? Obviously, I'm not gonna review it because of timing, but I wanna take a closer look at this thing. So we got G-Sync support, FreeSync support. It's got an IPS nano color display. VESA certified display HDR 600 with 144 hertz refresh rate, one millisecond response time on a 27 inch 4K Ultra HD display. So literally marking off every single uh, gaming spec you want on a uh, gaming monitor. Ooh, the packaging on here is really nice though. Holy hell. If this monitor lives up to its reputation, this will probably be my main display for my ultimate dream setup at the new home. Oh, it's actually really thin too, look at this. Really thin bezels too, okay. So what's interesting about the unboxing is that they package the, uh, the stand separately, which I guess makes sense because if you're gonna unbox it and just go straight to mounting it, then you can leave this in the box and not take it out. So we got the power cable over here. Very interesting looking stand, very minimalistic, if I say so myself. Whoa, okay. I'm guessing this is a snap-on stand. Oh, look at that, that's beautiful. So far, I'm impressed with the, uh, the build quality. But the quality of this display is a uh, different story, of course. Might do a dedicated video on it if you guys are interested. Let me know. Normally, I don't do dedicated on uh, on single monitors, but if that's something you guys are interested in, oh, height adjustability too. Okay, can it rotate? It can rotate full 90 degree on one side and the other. That's really nice. Okay, can it swivel? Okay, no swivel. Still pretty cool adjustability on the stand itself. Let's go ahead and power this thing on though. Oh, I actually like the port location on the back, you guys. They're so easy to see because they're on the sides over here. There's a little hole in the middle of the neck, which you can use to pass through the cable. So apparently the monitor ships without any cables, which is the first I've ever heard of. Something about it's good for the environment because when people buy monitors, they end up throwing away the cables anyways and they don't use it. I think that's a, it's a little bit of a BS in my opinion. Uh, if you're buying a monitor, especially if it's your first monitor purchase, you're gonna need the cables, right? It would have been nice to include at least a, uh, an HDMI cable, but you know, it does support HDMI 2.1, so make sure you guys are buying the correct cable for this. It supports 4K at 120 hertz refresh rate, so it's gonna be great for current gen console gaming as well. So if you have a PS5 or an Xbox Series X, then you will take advantage of the 120 hertz refresh rate that it offers. But yeah, first impressions overall, I think it's a pretty solid monitor, really nice display. I cannot wait to kind of uh, play around with this. It will most likely go into my ultimate dream setup as the main display. But yeah, thank you so much, Eve, for sending this over. I cannot wait to put this in my setup. This is not the last time you guys will see this on the channel. So it will make another appearance very soon, I promise you. You know what, let's open up the last Corsair box before I move on to the others. Hallelujah. This is 
quite the box, ladies and gentlemen. It's actually fairly light for the size of this box, if I'm being honest. Let's see what we got in here. Mm. Okay, I know what these are. Just based off the shape, I'm gonna deduce that they are the new Corsair, or I should say Elgato. Is it Corsair or is it Elgato? I don't even know. It's the new, oh, it's Elgato, okay. It's the new wave panels from Elgato. I'm not gonna open up all the boxes actually, because it's all the same. So I'll just open up this one. Save me a lot of headache from cleaning up at the end. I've always wanted these just because of how cool they look. Look at this. Oh, it's so soft. It is so soft. These are so nice. I wish they made these in white or light gray. I think they would be really cool. So these are going in, a, in an upcoming special setup project. That's all I can say about that. Ladies and gentlemen, we are down to our final three boxes. Box number one is from Light Gaming. We have another, looks like PC sent from them. If you guys remember, I featured them in a previous unboxing video as well, and I actually gave away that PC as well, my Discord server, so. Let's see what they sent me this time. Alrighty then. We have a uh, pre-built system, looks like inside the Gamdias Talos mid-tower PC case. I think they use a lot of Gamdias cases, honestly. I feel like Gamdias is very, what's the word, underappreciated, underrated. They make some really nice cases. Unfortunately, they are not as popular. This is upside down. That's fantastic. So let's peel this off real quick. Let's take a look inside and see what kind of specs we got in here. And in case you guys have already forgotten, Light Gaming is a company that does pre-built systems. Well, what separates them compared to the competition is their pricing. Very competitive pricing, especially in today's market. You're essentially getting a lot of value for the money. Oh, okay. It's not a bad looking system. Beautiful cable management as expected, like always from you guys. Let's go and power this baby on. All right, first boot. Let's actually peel this off too. Bam! Look at the RGB. You love to see it. The only fan that's not RGB is the rear fan it looks like. So you got three intake and two exhaust. One of them is the uh, AIO fan for the cooler. But yeah, really nice all black build with RGB of course. So in terms of specs, we got the Ryzen 5 3600 in here, 16 gigs of RAM running at 3200 megahertz, and the uh, GTX 1660 Ti with 512 gigabytes of storage. So pretty good entry level gaming system. Right now they're actually having a limited Black Friday sale on their website. You guys can get one of their awesome looking pre-built PCs and pay $0 for the build fee. They're also knocking off $50 from the build fee if you prefer a custom system with your preferred specs. And lastly, if you wanna build a PC yourself, then you can go with their build kits and they're actually offering 5% off every part and no build fee. So definitely check them out guys. I'll drop a link to them down below. So just because Christmas came early for me doesn't mean that Christmas can come early for one of you guys watching this video. So um, I'm in a really good mood and I've had a really good unboxing experience up until now. So I wanna give this away to a subscriber. So let's go ahead and toss the light gaming PC in the giveaway pool, please. I know it's been difficult still gathering parts for a PC build, especially getting them at retail price. So hopefully, you know, this system can make someone happy out there and get you into gaming. So yeah, huge thanks to Light Gaming for sending this out. As always, if you wanna show them some love, make sure to check out the link down below. Yeah. Oh my God, I scratched my desk. I scratched. 
Yep, that's a scratch. God damn it. Why do I always end up damaging a desk in these unboxing videos? I freaking broke my other one last time, if you guys remember. Oh, shit. Oh my God, I'm making it worse. I think there's like a nail stuck underneath there or something. Oh man, that is not good. You know what, let me lay this flat actually. Yeah. Whew. Okay. So yeah, we clearly have a PC in here from Origin. It's a freaking crate, you guys. It's a freaking crate. I don't even know how to open this. This is really dangerous. There's like nails sticking out everywhere. Kids, do not try this at home. <clears throat> You know what, there's an opening over here. I'm gonna take advantage of it and go from here. There we go. Now I can slide this over. Oh my God. Oh my God. That was a mission indeed. I'm so glad I saved my energy for this because I need it. Oh man, my poor desk. Let's see what you sent me, Origin. Let's see what we got in here. Damn, this thing is a monster. Thing is a monster you guys it's a full tower case i can already tell oh my god dude gently oh it's a corsair case okay let's do a reveal i'm absolutely winded oh it is a 7000 series case it's the x with the glass panel in the front. And there's a TechSource logo etched on the screen here, or the side panel, I should say. Take a look at that, guys. Oh, man, that looks beautiful. That is so cool. Oh my God, there's another logo in the back here. That looks freaking awesome. Take a look at this one, guys. Look at that. The entire side panel, custom made, with my logo on there. Oh, that looks, that looks so sweet. It's got Texas over here as well. I'm digging it. I am digging it. Let's take a look inside. I think this is magnetic, right? It should technically, yep, it is, okay. Whoa. Oh, it's an AIO build, okay. Oh my God. That is a thing of beauty. Look at that. We got the Corsair 360 millimeter Capilex AIO, MSI motherboard, and an RTX. It's got dual eight pin PCI connector, so I'm gonna assume it's a 3080, maybe a 3070 Ti, but I do wanna plug this in real quick and power it on. All right, guys, here we go. First boot. There are no light, oh, there we go, there we go. Default all white lighting which is not what I expected. Usually it's all RGB, but it looks like it is pre-configured. Oh my God, even the desktop wallpaper has my logo on there. Are you seeing this? Absolute mad lads. Oh, I spoke too soon. There it is. There's the RGB. Damn, that is such a monster unit. This is, it's a beast, absolute beast. So yeah, this is the Origin 7000X. It's a pre-built system built inside the Corsair 7000X case. It does support up to an EATX motherboard and it has three tinted tempered glass panels on the top and the front of the case, along with a side panel that sits on a hinge, which is magnetic, allowing for easy access inside. Now in terms of specs, we got the 11th gen Intel Core i9 11900K, which is an eight core 16 thread processor 
with 32 gigs of RAM and the NVIDIA RTX 3080 Ti. I was actually surprised it's a 3080 Ti considering it only has dual 8-pin PCI connectors instead of triple. Of course, with all NVIDIA graphics cards, you get to take advantage of ray tracing with DLSS, significantly improving the graphics of your game without the performance hit. And for storage, we do have the operating system running on a 1TB M.2 SSD and additional 2TB SSD for extra storage. I do love that they stuck with all Corsair parts, so, you know, syncing all the lights together and controlling each component's performance with the IQ software is going to be a lot easier. Um, and the cable management actually looks really nice inside the case, but I wonder how it looks in the back. So let's take a closer look. So the rear side panel is also magnetic. Oh, wow. Yeah, that, that right there is cable porn. Just look at the way they routed the cables from the Commander Pro. That is, that is beautiful. So the Origin PC7000X starts at 2640, but you do get the option of customizing the components inside and adding laser etching, just like how mine was done. So if you have a logo you want to add on the case to give it a unique look, then the option is there. As always, I'm gonna give a huge thanks to Origin for setting out this monster of a gaming PC. If you guys want to check out any of their other amazing systems, click the link down below. All right, guys, so this leads us to our final box of the unboxing video, the finale, if I may. Ooh, you suck. Um, I know, I know guys, unfortunately the video is almost ending. Uh, it was a lot of fun though. So this box is actually way too big and I couldn't bring it here at the office. So I'm gonna take you guys back to my home, which is where we're gonna be unboxing it and checking it out. What is up you guys? Welcome to the last unboxing for the video. As you can see, we're outside of my home. It's actually a really nice change, you know, to unbox something outside, get some fresh air. I'm getting cooped up inside of my office but yeah we have actually a pretty massive box from rad power bike so i'm gonna assume there's like an electric bike in here for us to check out and this is actually very exciting for me because i haven't owned a bike in the longest time since i was like maybe eight or nine years old i believe there's a little bit of a sad story attached with that actually so my mom actually worked really hard for a couple months saved up and bought my uh bought me and my brother our dream bike from Toys R Us. So one day we woke up on a Christmas morning and we saw both the bikes standing right there next to our Christmas tree with bows on top. And we enjoyed riding the crap out of those for a couple weeks. And then a week later, or a couple weeks later, we woke up and the bikes were gone. And uh, we were always told that the bikes were stolen, but when we got old enough, my uh, mom actually told us the real story. And that was, my dad actually sold the bikes to fuel his gambling addiction so that was fun so ever since then we've actually never touched a bike because they were so expensive up until today ladies and gentlemen let me get this thing out of the box actually it looks like it's actually it's in a few pieces so there might be some assembly required there has to be an easier way of opening this up right like i do not want to damage don't want to damage this thing hold up let's do this let's open let's destroy this box from the side here there it is ladies and gentlemen this seems to be like an electrical bike from rad power oh man this is gonna be this is gonna be exciting guys from not riding a, a bike since i was like eight years old to riding an electrical bike is gonna be quite the experience here's what i'll do i'm gonna lay this flat actually on the cardboard so definitely some assembly is required. So I'll tell you what guys, I'm gonna go ahead and assemble this and I'll be right back once it's completely done. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, the bike is finally complete after an hour of assembly. So why not take it for a quick test drive? Let's do this. Whoa! This is gonna end really bad actually. Holy crap, I'm driving with one hand right now. I do not recommend this to you guys at all. Let me, uh, let me just stop somewhere safe. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, where was I, guys? So I'm gonna show you quickly how easy it is to start driving this thing without any effort. I'm not gonna even use the pedals. So check this out. I'm just gonna basically twist on the throttle a little bit and the bike is already moving. Look at that. No effort. That's, that's freaking cool. It's so fun to drive. The seat is a little stiff for me. I think I need to break it in. 
This is so fast, yo! This is so crazy. Damn, that was fun. That was a hell of a ride. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you around the bike real quick. Uh, there's a lot of interesting tech that's going on here. Uh, we do have obviously the handbrakes for both the rear and the front wheel. You have a little bell over here, which is cool. Uh, the gear shifter is over here on this handle over here. It does have seven gears to choose from. Obviously, the steeper the hill is, the lower you want your gear set. So just a lot easier to drive up. And I think this is just the reset button. Resets back up to seven. Uh, you got your throttle, throttle over here. As you can see, it was already starting to move. Whoa, uh, just like a motorcycle. And then moving on to the center, we have an LCD display. It'll kind of tell you how much wattage the bike is using as it's driving. Uh, you do have the time, and then of course your speedometer in the center. And then we got this little guy over here, which is the boost assist. The higher the number this is, the less effort it'll take to drive the bicycle. So obviously you guys can tell there are pedals here. You can drive this as a normal bike, but because it's electric, uh, it doesn't require as much energy, I guess, or um, effort to drive because most of it is done using the motor. So, so the higher the number this is, the less you'll need to use the pedals. So that's basically what this is. Uh, then you got your power button over here and then your headlight, which is in the front of the bike. So yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. Definitely enjoy driving this thing. Thank you guys so much at uh, Rad Power Bikes for setting this over. So yeah, it pretty much concludes the unboxing video. I had so much fun doing this and I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching. Here's a full list of all the items I'm giving away on my Discord server. Uh, if you guys wanna join, make sure to click the link below, but please make sure to read the rules before you do anything inside the server because if you do break it, if you break it, the 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 break it, the, if you break it, the rules, you will be punished and unfortunately be banned from the server and you won't be able to join back. So please, yeah, just read the rules. It's really not that hard, you guys. Um, I'll obviously drop a link to all the parts I unboxed down below if you guys want to check it out. If you enjoyed the video, maybe consider tossing a like before we head out. And as always, I'll see you guys very soon in the next one.